What you doing, baby? I don't know. What you got in there? I'm beans. So this is my kitty cat's refried beans. And she made those beans from scratch. But these refried beans are the best. She uses coconut oil for some reason, but it gives it a killer it's flavor. It's healthier for you. It's what? Healthier. Does it reduce the parts? No, it's just healthier than regular oil. And it adds a hell of a lot of flavor. Good. What you're supposed to do is put them in the pan and then cook a little bit longer. They're called refried beans. Can you all feel the excitement in the air of me filming her do this? You're gonna put the juice. I use the juice when I smash them because I really don't add. A lot of people add milk or some kind of cream. Mm -hmm. But I just used the juice and it already has a ton of bacon in it. And I just smash them. Mm -hmm. And then I add cheese. But we'll get to that part. This is going to make for one happy bubba. And bonus, it'll keep her warm at night. Under the blankets. And you too. How about that? No. You're a girl. You don't fart. Right? Okay, I'm gonna end up putting I'm gonna put the rest in here. Okay. We'll be back. Oh, well. They don't need to see me putting this crap in here. Okay, I guess we'll be back. We'll be back. Alright, turn it off. Please. Uh, yep. I, uh, is that what this thing? Is that what it's <laughs> Yes, uh, that's what it is. <laughs> I'm looking for the whole thing over here. Alright. Alright, we're back. Oh, can you count? Okay. Alright, this is the way I make refried beans. It's not necessarily the right way, but it's my way and my hubby bubby loves them. And they're awesome. Yes. Okay, I put the beans in there and what I did, I put coconut oil and I've been letting them cook and, and um, get softer so I can mash them. I had a little bit too much um, juice in there. Like I say, I don't like to put any cream. I just like to mash it in its own juices. So, to me, it tastes better. So what you do is just start mashing this hard labor here and you mash and you mash. It might be kind of really too much juice in there, but we'll see how it comes out. So you just keep on mashing and that's what you do to keep on mashing. Mash. A lot of people use a ricer, but I don't know, that's kind of hard. And some people put them in the blender. That's cheating. You got to get your work on. Oh. Work out on whatever, <laughs> something like that. Uh, work the muscles. So I'm just gonna mash this until it gets really soft and creamy. And I took out some of the juice, so if I need more, I will put some back in. And I'm sure you don't want to watch me do this for like 15, 20 minutes. So we'll be back. Are you filming? Mm -hmm. Okay. I ran out of out of, out of juice, bean juice. They're kind of thick still, so I am going to put a little bit of milk in it. I mean, a lot of people make it with milk. I mean, I think that's the way you're supposed to make it, but I don't know. I just do whatever I want. <laughs> I don't make it with milk, so this is going to be like a first. Let's we'll see. Oh, hopefully I won't run it. Them, please. Focus on me. <laughs> Why? What are you doing? Huh? You need to talk or something. Oh, well, I'm smashing. Smash, smash, smash. It's hard work. I'm just going to leave it like that. Perfect. It tastes good anyway. What's next? Just the cheese. I didn't add any spices to them because they were already pretty well spiced. Now we got cheese. Sharp. And then you just add the cheese. 
sweeties. Much as you want. Choose your liking. Bye.